Standard newspaper. And on the front page there, the big question, uh, the lingering questions on the IABC selection panel, which was yesterday forced to, to defend its list of nominees, including Chebukati. This as opposition members of parliament criticize their choices. Now, that is a story that will continue on page four of the paper. But on the front page, we just have a few of the issues um, that are raising questions. One is the suitability of the individuals that have been nominated. Issues have emerged on the integrity of these nominees, including Wafula Chebukati, but we have seen the selection panel stand by their decision. And then secondly, of course, is the issue of merit. Were the best candidates picked? We have several media reports indicating that top scorers were bypassed uh, while picking these nominees. And thirdly, of course, is the issue of a regional balance with many politicians criticizing the fact that Wafula Chebukati comes from the same region as IEBC CEO as Chiloba. So that story continues on page four of the paper. Let's take a look at the details. Uh, and of course, uh, yesterday, as I mentioned, the selection panel was forced to convene a press conference to defend themselves against uh, the several questions being raised as to the criteria and the integrity of the different nominees for the IEBC, uh, com as for IEBC commissioner. And uh, in particular, there have been various allegations that Wafula Chebukati and uh, Consolata Nkava, who was appointed as a member, have issues of integrity that have been forwarded against them. But uh, the selection panel says all the nominees have gone through various agencies uh, which have vetted them and are clear. And, uh, and so, you know, they say these are media reports that cannot be trusted. Now, remember, the, the panel selected uh, Chebukati on the 23rd of uh, December, uh, but he was selected alongside Tukero Olekina, who is a high court advocate. Now, reports indicate that uh, Tukero Olekina actually scored a 77% against Chebukati. Chebukati is at 63%, but uh, the president still picked Chebukati as the nominee. And so that is one of the points of a contention there, with many asking why Olekina scored more but did not get the nominated for the position. But of course, the selection panel says that the marking and the scoring criteria was not the only uh, criteria being used to select the RABC commissioners. And then, of course, uh, we had the president of Huru Kenyatta uh, choose Wafula Chebukati as the IABC chairperson. Again, questions of integrity there uh, being raised uh, with uh, ODM's director of elections, uh, Junette Mohammed, saying that uh, they need to know which criteria the president used uh, because he did not follow the ranking process. Should he have followed the ranking process, then Olekina would have been nominated as uh, the IABC chairperson. So a lot of contentious issues uh, going on here. There are allegations of marginalizing certain communities uh, this, of course, coming from the fact that uh, Ofula Chebukati and uh, Ezra Chiloba both come from uh, the same community. But uh, earlier this week, we also had majority leader in the National Assembly, Aidan Duale, say these two are not related. So whether or not they come from the same community, all that matters is they were both chosen as per the law. Now, even as this continues, um, Duale says MPs may have to be recalled to vet the IABC commissioners and this will be on the 18th of January, a one-day sitting to deliberate over, you know, the credibility of the commissioners that have been chosen. So that will be taking place on the 18th of January. And of course, uh, that will later be given to the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee uh, to vet the commissioners. All right, and uh, let's take